Hello, I'm Seth with Land the House. In today's video, I have the world's most expensive three inch PVC pressure tank. It's got the clear PVC with a three inch union down here. And that's gonna be used to test out fill material for the tank. In this case, I'm gonna be testing out pool noodle. It's uh, just your typical closed cell foam that uh, I hear a lot of people try. And when they pull it out a few months later, it has uh, been collapsed. So I thought it would be fun to watch this over the course of a couple of days inside this pressure tank and see what happens. So let's head down here to the pump and see what's going on. This is my personal ram pump. It's been going like this for about four months now. And uh, you can see it has a stainless steel valve, a secondary valve down in here, goes into a pressure tank, and then sends water uphill on this drive pipe, or this uh, delivery pipe here. The drive pipe is a one inch pipe that drops roughly seven foot from my bucket intake right here. And this gives us a pressure a little bit over 60 PSI at the pump. So to begin this test, we need to remove the pressure tank that's on here. So I want to close this as best I can like that. This concrete block is kind of in the way. I'm also gonna close the delivery pipe. Yeah. Okay. And now I'm gonna release the pressure in the pressure tank. Hopefully. There's a lot of pressure in there. So, now that that's been released, I'm going to remove this pressure tank. In theory, Ugh, it's a two-handed job. Okay, very cool. All right, I wanna go ahead and put this pool noodle in here. I got the three inch union, so it makes it hopefully a lot easier to do this. I can just take the noodle and plop it in there. I have a couple of inches of extra space down here. Just close this back up. Okay. Let's get this installed. And now let's start this up again. Okay. We should be able to see water rise up in here as I start cycling the pump. There we go. Builds up pretty quick. <laughs> Check that out. It's already crushing that foam. That's wild. Let's get a closer look. I was kind of expecting this to take a while, but uh, we're getting some pretty immediate results here. That's fascinating. All right, I'm gonna open the delivery pipe here and see what happens. All right, water level dropped back down. Fascinating. I've never seen this before, so it's new and different. What's really fascinating to me is that all that air chamber you saw had compressed that air into this little tiny space up here. And whenever the valve was opened, that's the space that remained. Quite fascinating. But that noodle, I mean, it's in there, but it's not doing a whole lot. Even though we got some pretty awesome immediate results here, I'm still gonna give this about two days of operation and see just how much this foam compresses. So 
I'll just sit out here for a little while. It's been about 30 hours. Let's take a look at the pool noodle. This thing has definitely shrunk a lot from where it was when it first started off. Looks like it's about half the size. So uh, let's go ahead and stop the pump and pull this out of here and see what happens. I kind of want to see if it will re-expand. Let's get this cleared off again. We had a nice rain yesterday, so it got stuff kind of messy. Okay, let's close this guy over here. Okay, all right, uh, I'm gonna open this valve. Let's see what happens here. Maybe. Ah, there we go. <laughs> you can actually see where the water uh, level was inside of that. So, okay. Let me go see if I can get this opened up here. Let's take a look at our foam here. So, the portion that was not underwater looks like it's pretty good. It's about the same size as it originally was. But the parts that were underwater are definitely compressed here. So I'm thinking this might actually be a nice valid fill material for a pressure tank. I found that test to be rather fun. So you can definitely see the line where the water was uh, going up and down there. And that's where it was underneath. So if you have an idea of what you'd like to see in the pressure tank, write that in the comments down below. And we'll see what happens when it goes into this thing. Uh, I do want to test just a regular bicycle inner tube next. I want to do ping pong balls, tennis balls, maybe even racket balls. I don't know. Uh, so. Write your thoughts down below and we will give that a try. Now, uh, if you would hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. And do remember, I have four different ram pump sizes available in Amazon and at landahouse.com. Link in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.